Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I'm at a granny camp, which is my Alaska off-grid cabin. It doesn't have any running water, doesn't have any electricity. It's a great place to come and just think about life, be left alone, and ponder what are the important things to me. Dirt cheap prepping supplies. That's what I wanted to talk about today. There are all types of odds and ends, this and that, little bits and pieces of prepping that we want to make sure we have all the missing parts, all of the little parts and pieces that we need to have our day-to-day -day life go smoothly. We know we should be stocking up on food. We know we need first aid and water. But then there are all the incidentals. So that's what these are. Dirt cheap prepping supplies, the incidentals that you might want to see if you have them in your prepping stockpile. Q-tips are great to have on hand. Not only are they good for removing makeup, cleaning out little nooks and crannies, they also, you can dab them in some petroleum jelly and light them as a fire starter. There are lots of reasons to want Q-tips. Extra toothbrushes. Dental hygiene is paramount to your health. Realize that your blood circulates through your entire body within, say, a minute. And if you get infections in your gums from lack of dental health, you can end up with an infection spread all over your body within just a minute. Infections in your gums can also damage your heart. You wouldn't think brushing your teeth could be that important, but it really is. So make sure you have lots of extra toothbrushes and replace them regularly. Dental floss, not only for flossing your teeth, but this stuff is great cordage. You can use it to sew together little things that have rips and tears in them, and this stuff will never come apart. Stock up on soap, bars of soap, dish soap, liquid hand soap, whatever kinds that you use. Make sure you have plenty of soap so that you can stay clean and keep your things clean in any kind of a situation. Pick up a package of hair rubber bands. These things are so sturdy. They're far sturdier than regular rubber bands. I clip mine together just with a bobby pin. It's easy to take one on and off. You can use them to tie up anything you would with a rubber band. When you're pitching a tent, put a hair rubber band on the end of your cord before you hook it into your ground stake and then in the wind it allows it to give a little bounce and give so that it doesn't tear out your tent, tear out your grommet, or pull your stakes out of the ground. Everybody needs a little sewing kit. I picked this one up at the Dollar Tree. They may not have this exact one anymore, but you can find all kinds of threads, needles, pins, buttons, any little extras that you can put together in a sewing kit is going to be fantastic because it allows you to repair the things that you have. We want to repair things rather than replace them. Get a package of clothes pins. You can use them not only to hang up your clothes on a line if you need to dry them, you can also use these to close up bags of food, hold things together. There's a lot of uses for clothes pins. Plus, in an emergency, if you've got some wooden ones, you have something to use in your fire if you have nothing else. Get a few extra pairs of scissors. These white ones in the kitchen department at the Dollar Tree are some of my favorites because not only are they sturdy, they have a little gripper here in the middle that you can use to open bottles and containers. You squeeze it over it just like a pair of pliers and er, you can get things open. I find these to be extra handy and they were only a dollar. Stock up on coffee filters. Perhaps you need them to make coffee. If you're going camping, you can put your coffee or loose tea in them, tie it around with some dental floss and use it like a tea bag and make your own tea and coffee pods. Or if you've just run out of the pods that you like at home. Coffee filters are also great for your water purification. You can pour wild water through a coffee filter to filter out some of the debris and then go ahead and purify it. It takes out the solid chunks. It's not going to take out the microscopic things that can make you sick. So you would still need to treat, filter, or boil your water. How about some paper clips? You can use them, of course, as paper clips. I like to also open them up and use them as little hangers. They work great on the Christmas tree. You can also use them around camp to hang things up. I also use one that I folded open to help me fasten bracelets. I put a video on, on how to hook a bracelet with a paper clip, and I'll leave a link to that video in case you're interested.
Stock up on batteries. What flashlights, radios, emergency gear do you have that use batteries? Make sure you have the correct batteries for all of your different items. Also make sure that you've stocked up on the batteries that fit in your smoke alarm. You need to be changing those at least two times a year. Never rob a battery out of a smoke alarm and be sure that they're working and help keeping you safe. It's very few dollars for a smoke alarm to protect your life. If you use oil lamps, make sure that you have the extra wicks. These little string wicks fit my little lantern here. So I got some extra ones to keep it granny camp. If you have larger oil lamps that take the flat wicks, make sure you have those and keep plenty of extra fuel on hand. If you have as much canned food in your prepper pantry as Alaska Granny, make sure you have an extra sturdy can opener. This is an inexpensive item to have a few spares on hand so that you can open the food that you store. You can also buy little P38s, the little military can openers so that you can have those with your emergency gear, with your camping gear. I like to put one of the P38 can openers under the plastic lid of number 10 cans. Then no matter what the circumstances, when I go to use some of my long-term food storage, there's going to be a can opener there so that I can access that food easily. Summertime is a great time to stock up on canning jars and lids. You can use these lids again and again if you're vacuum sealing dry ingredients, but if you're wet canning or pressure canning, then these are not suitable to reuse. So stock up on as many canning lids as you think you could possibly need so that you can continue to prepare and preserve the foods that your family counts on having. I like to stock up on mechanical pencils. The main reason is my dog Teddy likes to steal them and chew them up. So figure out what items you use that you need to continue to replace and then get additional so that you're going to have a nice stockpile no matter what the future brings. Stock up on utility lighters and strike on the box matches. You can use them to start fires, light candles, light your oil lamps. There's all kinds of reasons that you might want to have extra lighters and matches. And when I was on my way out to granny camp, I stopped to get gas and I went into like the mini mart. I noticed that they were nearly completely out of cigarette lighters. So that's one of the prepping skills and strategies is if you pay attention that things are becoming scarce, take that as a clue that maybe that's something that you want to stockpile if you don't have enough. So I chose a pile of those and bought them on the way out here. I bought 10 Bic lighters to add to my stockpile. A must-have wherever you are with Teddy. Shh. A must-have prepping supply are contractor black plastic garbage bags. Get the biggest, strongest bags that you can afford and you can find. The bigger the better, the higher quality the better, because in a real emergency, you absolutely need the protection that you can get out of a heavy-duty plastic bag. There are so many things you can do with a big black plastic bag. I'll leave a link to a video I made about all the different uses for big black plastic garbage bags. So these are my ideas for dirt cheap prepping supplies. None of these cost very much. You can choose one at a time, pick them up as you need them, and think about other things that maybe you use on a day-to-day -day basis or even once a week or monthly and add to your list the things that you count on having. Those are the things that you want to stock up on so you have what you need no matter what the day brings. If there's an item that you can think of that we would want to add to our prepping supply, leave it in the comment below so we can all learn from each other. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.